Good morning, everybody. Matthew Smith here, uh, joining you from in the studio. Forgot to actually shoot the video before I got in here this morning. So, uh, working on a couple stories, uh, logging onto my computer right now. Uh, one thing that we're going to be talking about this morning, uh, a crash that happened Saturday night. Now, uh, Joe Chiotto got to sit down uh, with one of the victim's families. She's actually in a medically induced coma. Uh, the big news on this is that the person that was believed to be in the other vehicle, uh, these people say that they swerved towards them, they haven't been found yet, uh, believed to be in a black Dodge Challenger. So obviously want to keep getting more information out on that and see if anybody knows exactly what happened. Look for that story. If you don't catch our newscast, go to WOWT.com. You want to know where those kids were. Maybe you might have some kind of information that can help police. Really like you guys to help out on that one. Uh, another story that we're following, the Malaysian airline. Uh, once again, we knew that there was more objects out in the sea. Uh, they went out there, they checked them, turns out it was actually stuff from a fishing vessel, so that plane still missing at this day, uh, and Australia is now saying there is absolutely no timetable on this whatsoever. From the lighter side, uh, everybody's licking their wounds, brackets, they are officially broken for everyone, uh, specifically uh, Rusty and I, our brackets are okay, I guess, but uh, our, our teams are dead. Yeah. Michigan lost, Iowa State lost, Rusty... Well, we, we're talking about baseball now, I was right? Say, it's baseball season now. That's what that means. <laughs> Iowa State's out, Michigan's out. You had a chance if Michigan would have won. I think you could have won the bracket challenge, but we'll see how it goes. I, I got creamed. I think you already got me now. Uh, Weather-wise, kind of a strange day. We're going to see south winds this morning. Our high is going to be around noon, 1 o'clock, and it's going to be in the 70s. Well Ooh, in the 70s. Nice. But it's going to be incredibly windy. It'll be south wind this morning, west wind this afternoon, so... Temperatures will fall off all day. Unfortunately, the warmest, the best part of the day, probably while you're going to be at work. Um, by the time you get off work, we'll be back in the 60s and 50s and then keep falling off from there. So uh, up and down day. We're in the 60s right now as you head out the door, which is great. Yeah, it, it does feel good out there. I actually, when I headed out at 2.30 in the morning, I was excited <laughs> to uh, not have to be cold or bundled up today. So obviously weather, uh, you know, with those winds, though, keep in mind, we're also going to have a story about uh, a grass fire that endangered some homes in Council Bluff. So remember, there are some areas that have burn bans. You can't be burning out there, especially with those winds like that again today. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Matthew Smith here. Remember, 4.30 to 5, I'll be on the anchor desk. I'll bring you up to the minute from 5 until 7. Cerise will be on the desk at that time. Remember, you can also go to this YouTube at the very bottom of the comment section. You can find all of our Twitter handles, our Facebook handles. You can interact with us throughout the show. And we look forward to that. So 437, hope you guys tune in.